Welcome to part 14 of how to make a Japanese shoji screen. I was going to put the all the assembly in one clip, but I decided to break it up. In this part you'll see how I do the initial assembly. This is actually done prior to finishing. And in it you'll see I glue one of the styles to the rails and also the, cent the, the horizontal Kamiko. The vertical Kamiko are not glued into the frame, and not, it's not required. And the only reason I glue, and I only glue um, the central, if I have many or several horizontal Kamikos, I only glue the center ones into the style. I do this to prevent the actual styles from moving apart. The material is 40 millimeters by 30 millimeters, but it's possible that it could move apart slightly, particularly in transport, not so much in use, but in transport. So I glue the center ones to the styles to lock the frame in, in place. I just use a stick to apply the glue to the tenon and the mortise as you can see and then I put glue into the holes where where the spigots will go in the styles the glue I use is an exterior PVA glue And as you will see here, I started to assemble and then realized I hadn't applied glue to the to one of the rails, to the, the tenon on one of the rails. So I had to pull the glue out again and apply the glue to it. I only apply glue um, on the, the sides of the, 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 the large sides and only, only on the vertical sides of the mortise and that's because the rest is, is gluing to end grain and end grain, gluing anything to end grain is, is um, useless so there's no point wasting glue on it in any case applying glue just to two sides of a mortise and the tenon gives plenty of strength it'll be stronger than the glue, uh, stronger than the timber and if you try to pull it out you'll damage the piece once it's um, once the glue is set as I mentioned before where the Kamiko cross in the center uh, is they are not glued they are a press fit and they will not move a very tight fit This was a relatively easy assembly because there was only a couple of horizontal Kamiko. Even then you'll see sometimes they jump out and you must just keep adjusting till you get them right. The reason only one of the styles is glued is because after spraying the it has to be removed, one has to be removed so that the acrylic sheet can be inserted into the frame. Normally I have the clamps set up ready but in this case I, I didn't so I had to um, adjust them for length. When clamping, uh, not you have to be careful how much pressure you apply to the center because it's quite easy to bend or break the, um, not so much break, but you can bend them out of shape, the Kamiko, because they're only 8 millimeters by 10 millimeters, <clears throat> So they're not particularly, uh, they're quite flexible.
and this showed you we were given a final sanding prior to finishing so I'm not particularly worried about having a protective cover on the bench top. Once it's finished and for the final assembly you'll see I have a I use a sheet um, to protect the shoji from damage caused by it being sitting on the bench top because the bench top is used for all sorts of purposes and it's not particularly and can have indentations or uh, things on it which could damage the finished shoji. Depending on the number of Kamiko, I could have up to five or more clamps. In this case, because there's only two horizontal Kamiko, uh, there's no requirement to have more than three clamps. This clamp must have been slipping because you'll see in a second I, I get a small hammer and tap it to, to ensure it grips the pipe. That ensures that it won't continue to slip. And I'll do the final tightening. Well, that completes this part. And I thank you for watching.